welcome back to the breakdown. Today we're going to be teaching you how to install Aether Legacy, the Aether mod in Minecraft 1.13.2. This is going to be using the Rift mod loader and it's going to be the Aether mod that we all know and love. We even make a glowstone portal to get on into the Aether. But first, a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an awesome 24-hour Minecraft server set up in less than five minutes with just a few clicks. We love them so much, we use them for our own Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you want to check them out before you buy, come join our server, play.breakdowncraft.com. I'll leave a vote in the description. But nevertheless, we love Apex. You will love them too. Go check them out at the first link down below. Again, that is the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get the Aether mod installed. So you need to go to the second link down below and it will take you here. This is a GitHub page, the development of the Aether Legacy. And what we want to do is come down here to where we see release version 1.0. Alpha 1. This is very early on in development, everyone, and there will be bugs, and there will be crashes, and there will be issues, but that is okay. The later you're watching this video, the more up-to-date it will be, so let's just go ahead and click on release v1.0.0 there. That will take us off to here, where we then want to see the Aether Legacy dash rift jar file. Make sure it does say dot jar at the end, and make sure it doesn't say sources dot jar. It says alpha dot jar, or just dot jar, right? Nothing before it like sources, like this one does here, so let's go ahead and click on that, and then it will download in the bottom left. We want to keep this file. It is from the people behind Aether who are very, very well known and very respected. I promise this is a safe file. From here, we need to download Rift, which is on another GitHub page here, specifically Rift for 1.13.2. Now, this one isn't as easy to find. We need to scroll down here, and we can see that the current version can be downloaded from here. You see, using the Minecraft launch. See that? Should be the current version can be downloaded from here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then in the bottom left, it will download. Make sure this ends in .jar, and if it does, you can keep the file. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser, we have on our desktop the Aether Legacy mod here and the Rift mod installer. Basically, Forge is what Rift is. Rift is Forge for 1.13.2, while Forge is still being updated. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get these installed. But wait, what if they're not on your desktop? No worries. Go ahead and click on the Windows button in the top left for me, probably in the bottom left for you, and it will open up this handy-dandy installer. Go ahead and type in Downloads and click on the Downloads folder. They'll be in here. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once Rift and the Aether Ether Legacy Modder on your desktop, go ahead and right click on Rith and then go to Open With. Click on Open With there and you should have Java TM Platform SC Binary. Go ahead and click OK and then it'll open up this and say Rift has successfully installed. Now if you don't have Java TM Platform SC Binary, no worries. All you need to do is go to this link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Java and it will take you here and this is our website and this is our in-depth guide on how to download and install the Java SDK or the Java W development kit. So basically, come here, go through this tutorial, download Java, and then it will work. If it doesn't work, no worries. We do have another tutorial for you. If we go to the breakdown.xyz slash jar fix here, this is the tutorial that if the downloading and installing Java doesn't work and you still can't launch Rift, you need to run the jar fix, and here it is. And come here, download it from here, and then go through this tutorial to see how to run it and get everything working. Then finally, you'll be able to do that open with and get this success message. Once you have this, you can go ahead and click OK, drag this to the side, and now we need to install the Aether Legacy mod. So let's go ahead and hit the Windows icon again. It's in the top left of my screen, in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows button there. Click on that, and then this time we want to type in Run, R-U-N. And then you should have this, Run, and it should be a desktop app. Click on that, and then in this we want to type percent app data percent percent app data percent exactly like that using percent sign app data and then percent sign and then hit enter and it will open up our roaming folder then you want to go and do dot minecraft here and then you should have a mods folder but if you don't have a mods folder no worries don't freak out you probably don't has a, have a mods folder as a matter of fact what you want to do is right click and create a new folder and then title this folder mods mods exactly like that all lowercase create yourself a mods folder right like so and then double click on that mods folder then once you're inside the mods folder there take either legacy and drag it into your mods folder now we need to go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher the same vanilla default minecraft launcher that we all know and love except this time we don't want to launch and just click play we want to make sure that we can click next to the little green arrow here open up this box and we should see rift Right there it is. As you can see, there is Rift 1.13.2. That is what we want. Click on that and click play. 
Now you are launching up Minecraft 1.13.2 with Rift installed and the Aether Legacy mod installed. Quite an awesome process here. Once Minecraft's open, we'll make the make the window a lot bigger for you. There we go. Very, very quick installation there. And then we can actually see down here in the bottom left, 1.13.2 slash Aether Legacy Edition. So we know it's installed. We'll go ahead and create a new single player world. I'm going to call it Aether just before that. I'm going to make it creative just so we can get to this quicker and get things done quicker here. And we're going to go ahead and make our portal. Now to make a portal to the Aether, you need glowstone and you need a bucket of water. Nothing too crazy there. So we should be able to grab that really, really quickly. But I'll see you once the game is loaded up. There we go. We are now in game. Chunks are loading around around us there. I think there might even be some llamas over on the hill. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get our glowstone here. That's why we're in creative after all. So we can go ahead and get some glowstone and then we'll go ahead and get a bucket of water as well. There we go, a bucket of water. And then we should just be able to make our portal. So let's go ahead and build on up, right like so, and then build over. I forget if it has to be like the a certain size or not, but I think as long as you make it bigger than another portal, you're good to go. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think that size should work. So if we go ahead and click on it. I think that's a portal to the Aether, everyone. Let's jump on in. So now we should wisp off into the Aether here in one moment. So the portal worked, but it doesn't seem to be letting us through. So let's try this again. Portal to the, uh, what? I fell down. Portal to the Aether run through. Come on. <laughs> So you can see some of the bugs that you will occasionally encounter with a bod like this. So our portal still isn't working and I quite don't know why to be honest, but we're going to try to make a new one here in a second. Maybe it's just this portal off the start. But one thing we can check here is that there, there even are Aether items and there are and there are quite a bit of them here as you can see. We can even spawn some stuff in with a spawn egg. I mean that is very much so from the Aether mod there. But for some reason we can't get to the Aether right now. So let's go ahead and try to make ourselves a new portal. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe I made the portal in a weird way. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something about the internal mechanics of the mod that I need to be fixing here. So I'm going to go uh, check that if this doesn't work. But uh, some people are saying this the first portal currently isn't working. Now, this is part of downloading a mod. And the reason I'm leaving this in here is if this mod was a release mod, if this wasn't a beta mod, right? If this was a release mod, I wouldn't be leaving this in here because most likely it's not something you are ever going to encounter. However, it's not a release mod, right? It is a beta mod and I want you to see that you will have issues like not being able to even get to the Aether here. We're still having that said issue. So let me go ahead and keep, oh there it goes, I had to stand in the portal long enough and there it goes. Sorry, maybe that was the issue before. It kind of makes me want to go test my other portal. But if we load on in here, we can see that we are in the Aether. Now, that is one thing I will say. Whoa, okay. A little bit of bouncy there. A little bit of bouncy. But uh, yeah, there you guys have it. We are now loading into the Aether. Let's get these chunks loaded around. We can do a little bit of flying around here and... Uh, see what's up. So if we fly on over to here, we can see in fact this is the Aether. It is loaded in. The blocks are here. The custom trees are here. Everything that you want in the Aether is here, including a little bit of lag. You'll need to upgrade your RAM uh, settings in Minecraft to be able to do that. You can check out a video at the eye up there to see how to do that and add more RAM to Minecraft. But nevertheless, this is uh, this is the Aether mod. I don't think there's any denying it, minus the fact it's very laggy. This is awesome. So there you guys have it. If you want to go back to the Aether, we, or back to the Overworld, you can die. If you die, it should take you back to the Overworld. But we should be able to go back to this portal, go back to the Overworld, and back and forth. Now, one thing I will say is that this is buggy, and it is lagging. You will have issues, like your first portal might not work, just like mine didn't work. Maybe I wasn't standing in the portal long enough. That is possible, but most likely, I, uh, I that wasn't the issue, and that it, it was actually a bug. And I'm actually going to go report that bug if I can replicate it here. If you can't replicate a bug, it's not a bug, right? It was just me not standing in the portal long enough. But nevertheless, I don't think there's any denying that that did work there, that we did get to the Aether, and now we jump out to put us in a random portal somewhere else. Again, bugs, everyone. It's what you can expect when you're, uh, when you're playing in beta, like we are here. Or actually, even alpha. 
with this. But now we should be able to stand back into this portal, and if I just take my hands off the keyboard for long enough, we should go ahead and teleport to the Aether. There we go. So now you can see that this mod is working. It is set up, even if it is a bit buggy, and as time goes on, it will get less and less buggy. I wouldn't recommend do using this mod in your default survival world, but I know there are some people out there looking to make Rift mod packs, and if you want to make yours really stand out, as long as the creators of Aether will let you include it, this could really help to do that, especially as they update. They expect a stable version by the end of January. So quite impressive. But nonetheless, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your Aether mod. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.